Today is a beautiful day, but it looks as though we're about to get hit with a strong wind. I don't know how you do it, but you're always able to predict the weather. We need to pick everything up before it starts blowing really hard. I'm not afraid of the wind. It's on the air. What harm could it do? Oh. It's already <laughs> starting to blow hard. I think it's better if we head home now. We'd better hurry, because it's only going to get worse. I'm going inside with the others. Come on, Mumu. Don't be so stubborn. Let's go home. I'm not afraid of anything, much less the wind. Come on, little breeze. Is that the best you can do? Go on. I want more wind. More, more, more! I see you feel like blowing today, but you're not gonna beat me. I'm Moo, the super cow. I'm almost there, just a little further. This wind has no chance against me. Oh! What is this strange thing? Could they be pieces of wood? It looks like a beaver's home. No, no, it's a nest that fell from a tree and broke apart. And what might these be? They look like oval-shaped white rocks. Oval-shaped like an egg. No, no, they're not rocks, but bird eggs. Am I a bird? What am I doing here? Is this my nest? I can't believe it. My nest is all broken. This is my nest. My eggs, my family, no! Hey, guys, now listen to me carefully. The wind has done something terrible. My nest fell to the ground and it broke apart. My babies, my little birdies, have been left without a home. It's a tragedy. Please, someone help me. But, Mumu, you know that you're a cow and you don't have a nest, do you? My children, please help me. She must have hit her head a bit too hard. She is all confused. Come on, let's go see what happened. What a disaster! The nest broke apart and the eggs are all over the ground. We're lucky that none of them cracked. We need to pick them up and make a new nest for poor Mr. Bird. What do you mean, Mr. Bird? This is my nest and you need to help me. Moo, you took a blow to your head and you think you're a bird. But Moo, you're really a cow. Now we need to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird so that his eggs can hatch. Let's get to work, friends. We need to collect branches. Oh, look! What are you doing? Mumu, we're collecting branches to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird. So who's going to help me build my nest? But Mumu, you are a cow. What would you need a nest for? The wind has destroyed my nest and nobody's going to help me build it. I thought you were my friends. Mumu, the wind damaged Mr. Bird's nest, not yours. You don't have a nest. Well, since nobody's going to help me, no worries. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'm going to build the biggest and most beautiful nest that ever existed. See you later. Here's one. Look, look, yes, and another one. This one's mine. I've got a lot of them, but I need a few more. No, not a few more, I need a lot more. Now I think we have enough to make a nest. Put a branch right here. Yes, yes, that's good. Ah, uh, I hope this is the way it goes. It turned out to be a masterpiece. Mr. Bird will be very proud of his new nest. Now, we've got to put it where it belongs. Talalo, can you go put it up in the tree? Now I've got a beautiful nest, but... It's missing something here. 
For a nest to be a nest, it needs eggs. I'm going to try to lay an egg. Mm, this is really difficult, but I need to find some eggs. Look, right there on the ground, I see two giant white rocks. Where could Moomoo be? Well, I don't see her anywhere. Chirp, huh? chirp. Oh. Chirp. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, Moomoo, what are you doing way up there? Come down from there right now. When the wind starts blowing again, you'll be sent flying. Chirp, chirp, moo. Chirp, chirp, moo. The wind is starting up again. Come down from there, Moomoo. You're going to get blown away. Chirp, chirp. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hang on tight, Moo Moo. Oh. Oh. Moo Moo, uh, this morning I saw something you're not going to like. What did you see? I'm afraid to tell you. Uh, since last time I told you about such a thing, uh, you got a little hysterical. Rita, don't be silly. There's nothing that you have seen that can make me hysterical. However strange it may be. Go on, tell me. As you wish. Mumu. Uh -huh. This morning in the woods, I, I saw a rat. What? Please help me. I told you you'd become hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I just felt like standing up. Are you sure you're not afraid to touch the ground? No, of course not. So then, if I made you touch the ground, nothing would happen to you? You wouldn't do that, <laughs> would you? No, Rita, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. Help me, please. A rat! <laughs> See, I shouldn't have said anything, Moo Moo. It was only a rat and it was in the woods. You know we told them that you're afraid of them and to please not come out. It's been years since any rats have come around here. Oh. Come on, there's nothing here. Don't be silly. I have no intention of going anywhere. As you wish. I'm gonna have a snack with the others. Hello, Rita. What were all those screams that we heard? It was Moo Moo who got hysterical when I told her there was a rat in the woods. Oh! But you know very well that Moo Moo's afraid of rats. Why did you even mention it? I thought she wouldn't be afraid of them after so many years. Ow! 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 You know what? We need to do something so that she's no longer afraid of rats. Well, what can we do? We can do the following. We can transform the car into a rat and make it chase Moomoo until she gets tired. So tired that she can't take it anymore. Then the rat car will slowly approach Moomoo until Moomoo just has to accept that she's no longer afraid of rats. That seems a bit cruel to me. Yeah, I know. You'll see how cool this is going to be. Let's see what happens. I'm tired of being on top of this slide for so long. I think I'd better get down now. But what happens if a rat comes? But on the other hand, it's been years since I've seen a rat. 
I think Rita just told me that to frighten me. I've decided. I'm getting off now. Just do it. Just do it. But quit following me because I can't take another step. Wait just a minute. You've been following me this whole time and haven't done a thing to me. Well, what kind of rat are you? I thought you were going to bite me. Hello, Mumu. What are you doing on the ground? You're not going to believe this. There was a rat chasing me and I thought he was going to eat me. But when I stopped running, he didn't even touch me. So you are no longer afraid of rats? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Today I feel like playing some sports. Sports? In such cold weather? Everything's frozen! Of course, Rita. You could deal with the cold by doing exercise. Anyway, we just have to dress for it and then we'll be fine. But, but, but where do you want to go? Since everything's frozen, we could go to the lake and do some ice skating. <sighs> Alright. But first, let me get my coat because I'm freezing. Hi, Milo. We're going ice skating. Do you want to come with us? You're not going to believe this, but we just thought the same thing. I'll go and get my skates. Off I go! Olga sure knows how to dominate the art of ice skating. Wow, you do that so well. It's no big deal. I can skate really well, too. Check me out. See, Moo Moo, I can do it, too. I'm about to fall. That's a piece of cake. Now you'll see what I can do. Look, Rita, I'm pretty good too. But you're going backwards. I know that. I'm doing it on purpose. But you're going to fall that way. Be careful. So, Alfred, you want to try? To tell you the truth, this skating thing doesn't do much for me. When was the last time you went skating? Well, actually, I have never skated before. It scares me a little. Don't be afraid, Alfred. You just need to slide into it. It's really easy. You'll see how well you do it once you try. I'll have to try it. Very good, Alfred. Now you just have to move your feet a little. I don't understand it. I'm paralyzed. I can't move at all. 
Don't you worry. I'm just gonna push you a little bit so you'll see how easy it is. Very good, Alfred. <laughs> That's not funny, Rita. Yes, it is funny. <laughs> Ow! Watch yourself. <laughs> You'd better quit laughing because going backwards like that, you'll end up falling on the ice too. Whoa! Can somebody tell me how I'm supposed to turn around? Sure. Slow it down and I'll help you. You see how easy? Now you can skate going forward. Things sure do look a lot better this way. Now what do I do? Uh... Whatever, Mumu. You skate backwards and that'll be fine. I've got it now! All I have to do is slide. It's actually easier than it looks. Good. Just go a little slower because you haven't learned how to brake yet. To brake? Nobody told me anything about braking. How do you do that? I'm sorry, Rita. Everybody get out of my way because I don't know how to stop. Milo, help me stop him. He's going out of control. You get on one side and I'll get on the other. Help! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Have you noticed that you're the only one who hasn't fallen?